Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this elephant. When the elephant's made in a ply wool, which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK, it's 15 centimetres by 10 centimetres or 6 inches by 4 inches. When made using 4 ply crochet cotton, this one here, it's 10 centimetres by 7 centimetres or 4 inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches. I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton. I've got grey for the main colour and black for the eye and I'll be using the pink and green for a little flower that I'll put just near the ear. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. The white is to put a small dot in the middle of the eye. I've got a bead for the centre of the flower. I've got a 1.25mm crochet hook and scissors and a darning needle to weave in my ends. Now I'll start on the body. So using my grey I make a magic loop. For a magic loop I put my hook on my yarn and bring the short end over the hook and take the long end over the short end to make a circle. Then I put my yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn through the circle and there's my magic loop or magic circle. And then I work two chain and then work 15 double crochet into the circle. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through the remaining two loops. So I need 14 more double crochet. Now I've worked my 15 double crochet into my circle, now I pull the circle tight. So I take hold of the tail and just ease it in as tight as I can. And I work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So at this stitch here I put my hook into the stitch and bring through a loop and then take it straight through the loop on my hook. And that's row one done. For row two, we start with two chain and work one double crochet in the same stitch as a chain and then work two double crochet into each stitch round our circle. So I'll continue working two double crochet into each stitch and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. At the end of the row we work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row three we start with two chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and one double crochet into the next stitch. 
into the following stitch we work two double crochet and then one double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And we'll repeat that right round the row. So two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into each of the following two stitches right around the row. So I'll continue around this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and work 1 double crochet in the same stitch as a chain and one double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to work two double crochet into the following stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and repeat that right round the row. So two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into each of the following two stitches and we repeat that right round the row so two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into each of the following two stitches So I'll work around this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And now we'll start on the tail there. So we work 7 chain We slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Work one half double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet we put our yarn around the hook once, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through all the loops on the hook. And then we work two treble into the following stitch. A treble is called a double treble in the UK. For a treble we put our yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops, and then yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through the remaining two loops. And we needed another treble in the same stitch. And then work a slip stitch into that same stitch and a slip stitch into each remaining chain. And slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And that's the tail. Now we'll start on the head. So we join our cotton 14 stitches on from the tail. And work one chain. Then we work two single crochet into the same stitch as a chain. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet we put our hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook 
and take a hook and yarn through the two loops. So we need one more single crochet in the same stitch and then we work one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches And then two single crochet into the following stitch. For row two, we work one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch. And we'll have 13 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we work one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 13 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 13 stitches so we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For a joined single crochet we put our hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, put our hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop and yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through the three loops. That's a joined single crochet. For row five we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 14 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six we work one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 14 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 14 stitches. We're starting on the trunk now. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have three stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and work two single crochet into the last stitch. So we'll have three stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we start with three chain and turn. We're going to work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. For a join double crochet we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook and yarn through two loops. Then we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops and then yarn around the hook and hook and yarn through the remaining three loops. Then we work one single crochet into the last stitch and we've got two stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work a single crochet into the first stitch and then we work a joined single crochet in the same stitch as our first single crochet in the next stitch and we'll have two stitches. Now rows 14 to 17 are work the same. We work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. So that was rows 14 to 17. I've done row 14 
For row 18, we work one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. And we've got one stitch left. And then row 19, we work one chain and turn and work a single crochet into our stitch. And for row 20, we work one chain and turn, work a single crochet into our stitch and then fasten off. And then that's part of the head and the trunk done. For this top part of the head, we turn our work over, we miss one stitch after the trunk and join our cotton into the following stitch. And then we work one single crochet into the next stitch and then work a single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have eight stitches. I'm working my joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And for row two, we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined half double crochet, we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through all the loops and then we work two half double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through all the loops and we need another one in the same stitch. Then we work one half double crochet into the following stitch, a single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet into the last two, two stitches and we fasten off. Now I'll just weave in my ends to make it easier to do a neatening a row around the head. For the neatening row, we join our cotton just at the beginning of the head and work a single crochet into each stitch around to the trunk. So we just find a suitable place to put our hook fairly close to the edge of our work.
Now just before the trunk I'm going to work a joined single crochet in the next couple of stitches just to pull it in a bit and then I'm going to work slip stitches up the trunk. Just in here I might work a join slip stitch just to pull the trunk in a bit. And I'll slip stitch into the end of the trunk into the end of the trunk I'll work two chain one half double crochet into the same stitch two chain slip stitch into that same stitch and then work two chain a half double crochet in the same stitch, two chain and slip stitch into that same stitch. And then I work a slip stitch into each stitch down to the body. That just gives the bit of shaping for the end of the trunk. And then slip stitch into the body at the bottom of the head and fasten off. For the first leg, I join my cotton in the fifth stitch from the head. So this stitch here. And work one chain and one single crochet into the same stitch as the chain and then one single crochet into each of the next five stitches For row 2 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. We 
we're missing the last stitch from the first row. And for row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work the joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into the next stitch, and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And fasten off. For the second leg, we miss one stitch and join in the following stitch. And work one chain and a single crochet into the same stitch as a chain. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And a double crochet into the next stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. And for row three, we work one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in these ends to make it easier to do the neatening row round the legs. For the neatening row, we join our cotton just at the bottom of the first leg. And work a single crochet in each stitch round the first leg. And then slip stitch into the bottom of the first leg and then slip stitch into the next stitch and also into the bottom of the second leg. And then we work a single crochet into each stitch round the second leg. Slip stitch into the body at the bottom of the second leg and fasten off. And there's the elephant's head and body and legs done. For the ear, we make a magic loop. and work three chain 
and fire double crochet into our circle. We pull the circle tight but we don't join. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 2 double crochet into the first stitch. One double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two double crochet into the last stitch. And for row three, we start with three chain and turn. We work two double crochet into the first stitch. One double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two double crochet into the last stitch. And fasten off. And that's the ear. Now for the eye there, using my black I make a magic loop and work one chain and five single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. and fasten off. And I've got a small circle. If you wanted the flowers, you'd make a magic loop and work one chain and work five petals of one single crochet and one double crochet. So I'll repeat that four more times. One single crochet and one double crochet. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And for the leaves, I'll need to, I make a magic loop.
and work through chain and a join double crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight and fasten off. And I'll need another leaf. So make a magic loop and work three chain and work a join double crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight and fasten off. That's all the crocheting done. I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now here's all my pieces. The first thing I'll do is attach the ear to the head. The front of the ear goes to about the second row of the head and the top of the ear goes to about the top of the back there. I'll also embroider a white dot on the eye and I'll attach the leaves to the flower and I'll stitch a small bead in the middle of the flower. Now next I'll attach the eye to the elephant and I'll also embroider on some eyelashes and then I'll show you what the elephant looks like without the flowers. Now there's the elephant without the flowers. I'll just attach the flowers just up there at the top of the head at the front of the ear and I'll be back to show you the finished elephant. And there's the finished elephant. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details on my website where I have my patterns and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.